Hey everyone, it's Lehua from phoenixzen.com and today I'm going to show you some really simple ways to simplify and declutter your Gmail inbox. Now for free emails, I love Gmail the most just because it's integrated with other free Google apps like Google Drive, I wrote a post on that, um, Google Docs and Sheets, and Google Calendar. Because the interface is so clean and minimalist, I use them pretty much for a streamlined experience so you can sign up at gmail.com. If you do use another Gmail address like, I mean email address, sorry, like Yahoo, Hotmail, or even one from your own domain, like for instance, I use one for phoenixzen.com, um, you can actually configure it to Gmail. So I do get those emails to a Gmail account. So I will put a link in the description for instructions on how to do that. Um, because I don't have the time for it in this video. And I really want to focus on stuff that you can't really find elsewhere. So now on to simplifying your Gmail inbox. For the purpose of this tutorial, I had to create a new email just to showcase this. Um, and just for privacy sake as well. So I know it's not quite as full as some of your inboxes might be. But the process is still the same. So here's some settings you can change for a more simplified look. And that's mostly what I'm going to cover in this video. Um, so one thing that Gmail started doing, I don't remember exactly when it was, it might have been last year, was they started to do these like um, tabs, like primary social promotions. They even have like updates and all that stuff. And I don't like that stuff because what happened is I was doing just fine on my own with my own filters and labels. And then Google kind of just changed it up and they're trying to organize it for me, but they're not doing it the way I like to. So, you know, if you find that you don't like this as well, there's an easy way to change it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to click on the gear on the right and you are going to hit configure inbox. This is going to pop up and it's going to show the, the ones that are check marked are the ones that are showing up. So you're going to uncheck the other two so that only primary shows up. And then, as you can see, it is just one inbox, like how it was before. I don't know why they tried to organize things for me. Maybe other people can use it, but I found that it just doesn't um, put the things in the right categories. I did try to work it out, but it didn't work. So, back to this one. Now, you can actually see that there is like an ad at the top, there is a way to like eliminate that so it doesn't even appear. But I will get to that in a moment. So yeah, configure inbox is great for removing those tabs. Next up, we're going to go to your settings. And to get there, you're going to go to this gear and settings. Some things I've changed. If you scroll down, I actually changed the people widget. I hide it because that's just information I don't really need. It's not important to me. It might be for you, but it's not for me. So I hide that. Um, that's actually all that I change here, I believe. Yeah, I, I keep sh snippets and whatnot. Yeah, so that's pretty much the same. All right, go back to settings. Now for labels, I usually hide the ones that aren't relevant to me. Um, they already hid all of these because I had shown that I don't want them um, in the tabs. We already configured the inbox. So some things I do change. I think drafts was under hide, not show if unread by default. So I change it to show if unread because if I'm in the middle of a draft, I would like to know if I haven't finished it. Um, as well as spam, just because some things hit the spam folder and they really shouldn't be there. So I will hit that. And if there's no spam or no drafts, it's just not going to show up on this left side over here. It'll be lower. So it this actually auto saves, so I don't have to hit a button. Um, filters, we will do in another video, and that's going to show you how to organize your incoming mail so that it automatically gets a label on it and sometimes it can get put in the 
folder that you want it in so that you don't have to like fill up your inbox. It's just some something that automates it and it makes it really easy. So I will do that in another video. Um, chat, I turn chat off and actually it's over here. So once I turn it off and save, this will disappear on the, yep. So that disappears and to me that's just, I don't know, I like doing that because I don't use like Google Plus too much. And it's just distracting. I'm mostly here for my emails and whatnot. So Web Clips is the thing above the inbox that appeared when we reconfigured the inbox. So you're going to want to uncheck this and I believe that it auto saves that. So if you go back to your inbox, it is suddenly gone and it's nice and clean again. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys under settings is labs. Now labs is just a lot of like experimental fe experimental features that aren't really like part of Gmail, but it's like third party stuff that people decided to put in there to make Gmail a little bit more like streamlined. So I'm going to show you a few that I use and you can enable them straight from here. Um, so the first one I use is auto advance. So you're going to enable that and I can show you how that works actually because there's a setting that shows up after that. But you can, okay, I'm going to go back to that after. The second one that's really, really useful is canned responses. If you've ever, if you have a business and you send like follow up emails, thank you emails, um, requests for things, if you send links out to a bunch of different people at different times and you want to save that message so that you can like personalize it and add it on after and you just want a template, the canned responses um, is really great for that. And yeah, it does say email for the truly lazy. It's more so email for the truly efficient because you can save it. You can insert it into an email. You can customize it after that, just like a few tweaks here and there and send it. And it just makes the process so much easier. You know, if you don't want to mass email tons of people at once and BCC them, blind carbon copy. Um, and you just want to add that personal touch, you can still do it so that's personal, but you don't have to like retype the whole thing, email or copy paste it. It's just so much easier. Um, let's see, and the last one I use is undo send. Wow, there's a lot more in here than I realized, but you can look at all these later on in your, in your own Gmail, but undo send is the other one that I use. And that's the one that if you accidentally hit send, it gives you a bit of time before it truly sends because you can stop it. So I know they have this feature on phones as well on some of the texting devices like or the apps. You can like type something and then if you hit send and then you find out that you've writ written something wrong or it auto-corrected something and it's completely horrible, you can cancel it before you embarrass yourself. So... I'm going to save changes. I'm going to go back to the inbox. I'm going to go to settings real quick. And then it, see, it says auto advance. So this suddenly appeared after I enabled that option in the labs. So it says after archiving, deleting, muting, etc., conversation. So you can either go to the previous, go to the next conversation, or just go back to the thread list. So I have it go back to the previous one, and I will show what that means. Um, let's see. So I'm going to this email. Let's say I want to, I don't know, archive it. So it, it went to another email. If I, if you want it to go back to this, you could actually like change that setting. Um, I'm going to undo that. Where did I put it? It's actually under all mail. Yeah, the thing I like about this is it has like, labels and whatnot too so you can put multiple labels on things i don't actually know how to move this back to the inbox oh there you go that's that you do it um so yeah that's pretty much all i have for this video um it makes things just a little more minimalist and easy to see um if you just change these settings 
So don't forget to visit phoenixzen.com and sign up for our nifty email newsletter. It goes straight to your inbox and has these little gems like updates and blog posts and vlogs. As soon as they come out, there are also other updates and resources that I only share with my email community, so be sure to sign up. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more of these little life hack videos in the near future. So take care everyone and see you next time.